Bon, bon dia! Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tehutu. Yes, you might recognize me from a few years ago when we as a family went all into Bitcoin after selling all our belongings, our house, our companies, our cars, literally everything we owned, started traveling the world. Three and a half years later, guys, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Portugal, Lagos. In today's video, I'm going to show you a bull I met yesterday in Lagos Center, showing you the four hour chart in Bitcoin, the one day chart, the weekly chart, and the monthly chart to show you exactly what I expect to happen in Bitcoin. Also taking a look at the Ethereum charts because Ethereum is kind of in a very important level at the moment and we need to see what happens. And if you listen very carefully to what I have to say about these Ethereum charts, you can possibly make a quick buck over there. Enjoy today's video. Good morning guys. I don't know yet where to drive. I will just drive around along the beach because I saw there's a lagoon near here. I'm going to try and drive with the car to near this lagoon and talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life over there for you guys. Maybe we see some beautiful nature. I don't know. I need to explore all these areas here because I haven't been here before. But let's see if this is a beautiful place to drive this Bitcoin family machina, prime machina. Let's just see where we end up. Seems that this one is closed, so I need to find another way. Shit. I tried to drive to a beautiful part here, but there was a blockade because there is a golf court nowadays. So I need to find my way around here. So I just will walk on the beach now and just tell you a little bit more Bitcoin blockchain and life. Why I walk this beautiful beach here. It's a very wide, wide, like not white, but wide beach. And um, yeah, just check it when I talk to you guys about Bitcoin blockchain and life. Sunday morning in Portugal, guys. Everybody walking the beach. Wait, guys, do you like my new Born to Be Free t shirt? Yes, this one is the one with the, how do you call it? Born to Be Free singlet. Check it. Also available, of course, in our store. Guys, let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is bullish. Yesterday, I went to the center of Lagos. Lagos is a very beautiful, traditional center with really cool small streets and shops. And we went sitting there for a cup of coffee at a beautiful uh, place and this guy started to play live music he had an amazing voice he played Bob Marley he played the real bossa nova jazz music from Portugal <laughs> really beautiful and we had some lunch over there as well uh, yes I'm on a diet so I need to take a salad and the diet is really working out for me man I already lost three and a half kilos in three weeks so I'm going into my fourth week hopefully lose another kilo so that I lost like four kilo in a month I will do that another month and maybe I lose another four kilo and uh, that's eight in total if you can calculate so that's beautiful and um, my target is to lose 11 kilo why because Bitcoin is at 11,000 US dollar and that's how I lead in to my Bitcoin charts today guys yes talking about my weight leading into the Bitcoin charts ah I don't know how I come up with these things 
But let's take a look if Bitcoin is bullish. Wait, I, I can ask this bull because yesterday in the same town, I met a bull. I'm going to ask him. Wait one second. Bam, Mr. Bull. Is Bitcoin going up? I don't think Mr. Bull is reacting. Some bears put a face mark on this bull. That's why Bitcoin is not going up. I need to remove this face mask. I don't know if they like it when I now start to remove face masks here in town. So let's leave the face mask on. <clears throat> let's hope that these bulls have the strength to break the 11K level and take Bitcoin up to 12K or 13K or 16K in the near future. So let's leave this bull standing here with the beautiful Portuguese colors. Hmm, I will go later this week somewhere to check what kind of football shirts they have. Maybe they have one with a Bitcoin logo. So let's take a look at a few charts, guys. Let's take a look at this one. Bam! This chart is an exchange whales ratio. This shows how many whales are sending their Bitcoins to an exchange or taking them off an exchange. This exchange whales ratio is in an all year low. As you, as you can see on the chart, we are almost at the bottom of these ratio levels. This low means that the whales are not sending their Bitcoins to exchanges. They are huddling. And why are they huddling? Because these whales are not prepared to sell at 11K. At least a few are prepared, but I think 90% of the whales is not prepared to sell at 11K. So this ratio is showing exactly that. On this chart, guys, you can see an all-time high in back futures. What does this mean, back futures? is mostly the money coming in from institutional investors that are going to buy futures on Bitcoin. This means that more and more big institutional investors, big investment funds, are stepping into Bitcoin. So one, the whales are not selling their Bitcoin. Two, huge investment companies are stepping into Bitcoin. What do you think that this will do with the price? And yes, guys, it's not only the investors, it's also a lot of people taking profit that are stepping into Bitcoin again. Because you know, this whole DeFi hype is crazy cool and people are making a shitload amount of profits over there. But these people will also realize that there will be a correction in these DeFi projects. They are selling their projects in profit and they are stepping into Bitcoin to not miss out on this next bull run. Because we all know that if Bitcoin starts to run, everybody is going to hedge into Bitcoin again. And that means that less people want these alts. So the price of the alts will go down and the price of Bitcoin will increase till Bitcoin goes sideways again. And then the alts can recover again. It's a game you see over and over again and again. Four hour chart in this one, bam. In this one, we can see, we can soon see a correction in Bitcoin. Probably we fall from 11K to 10,500, 10,200-ish, 10, but we don't know for sure. But I think I saw this chart on the tweet from Carl the Moon, and Carl has been correct many times in the last tweets he's been doing. So if, we, if this is going to play out like Carl is expecting, then expect that we will correct a little bit to 10,500, 10,200 now. So yes, if you believe what Carl is saying, you could short Bitcoin now in the short term, but be aware, because you need to use your stop loss and everything or you take profit because if Bitcoin starts to run, then a lot of these short positions again will be liquidated. So be aware. And if you're going to short like Carl is doing, then do it on Prime XBT. Yes, it's a supporter of our tour and it's a crazy cool exchange where you can long and short Bitcoin. That means where you can margin trade Bitcoin, where you can leverage, which means you can play with more Bitcoins than you own. If you don't know what leverage trading or margin trading is, then please do your research first or educate yourself. In Prime XBT, right top of the screen, you see a lot of tutorials. These tutorials will help you on what margin trading is, on what leverage is, and they will help you how to do it. So if you want to follow up to these charts that Carl and all these guys are posting, please take a look at Prime XBT sign up with my referral fee you get a 50 percent deposit bonus which is crazy cool so you get the 50 percent extra to trade on prime xbt so that was the four hour chart so we can expect a little dip but if we zoom out a little bit let's zoom out to the day chart bam to this day chart on this day chart guys you can see that the rsi is really important to be looking at because the last time when the rsi looked like this guys it made a jump of 2,500 US dollar in a week. If you took, look to the left on the chart, yeah, that way is the left. If you look to the left, you can see what happened when the RSI broke out 
of this descending pattern. You know, you see this line coming down, you see the RSI breaking out, bam. That is exactly when Bitcoin went up two and a half thousand dollars in a week. Now, look to the right on the chart, to today, to the moment where we are with the RSI. We just broke out of this descending triangle, descending pattern, however you will call it. We broke out this line and we're going up. So if we look to the RSI on the daily, then in my opinion, we will go up. But yes, it doesn't mean that we will go down for the next couple of hours or the next day, because we can see a TD9 on the charts and we can also see a hidden bearish divergence on the charts. So yes, I think it is possible. We will drop back to try and 10,500 before we go up even more. But the RSI on this daily is telling me that we are in for a huge run again because we already did it a few times before when the RSI looked like this on the charts. Yes, I'm pinching my eyes because the sun is really bright. Maybe when I turn around, I can look normal again. <laughs> it is very beautiful over here, guys. Everybody is walking the beach. It is a Sunday morning. This is, this is how life should look like, in my opinion. Beach life. I love the beach. I have some kind of a weird connection with the sea and I just love to be walking on these beaches. So the goal, guys, we have now is the goal is to break 11,200. We need to flip this 11,200 level from resistance into support. We need to break the 11,200 line, break it, come back, retest it and go up again and retest it and go up again. Then we flip the 11,200 level into support. And this is exactly the goal we need to achieve in Bitcoin at the moment. As you beautiful can see on this weekly chart, bam, yes, we are zooming out from the daily into the weekly. On this weekly chart, you can see that we need to flip this level of resistance, this 11,200 level into support. I have another weekly chart that will express a little bit more why this is an important level. Let's check this weekly chart, bam. On this weekly chart, guys, you can see that the 10,200 to 10,500 level is our current support level. Why is this our current support level? Because if you look to the left on the chart that way, you can see it was a resistance level. You can see we touched this 10,200 to 500 level three times in the last 12 months before we broke up from this one and to come down again and retest this level to see that it became support. So yes, resistance first. You can see on the left side on the chart, three times we came up to 10,200, fell down. Came up, fell down, came up, fell down. Then we broke it. Now we came down again. And now we bounced off this 10,200, 10,500 level very beautifully. This means on the weekly chart, we are finding support now. So resistance flipped into support. This is now what we need to see happening with 11,200. Yes, we touch 11,200, we come down. We touch 11,200 again, we come down. We touch 11,200 again, or we break it, go up to 12K, come down to 11,200 and go up from there. And maybe retest 11,200 again from there. And then we flip 11,200 into support instead of resistance. So this is what we need to see in the next couple of days, weeks. I will turn around so that I can walk right back to the car and yes, I need to drive home again because I need to edit the video because I really want to push a video out on Sunday. Sorry, I didn't push out a video yesterday on Saturday, but it was a very busy day. We are still settling in, like kind of settling in here in this place, finding our way around, showing our kids where they can go because you know, they are 15, 13 and 10 years old. They want to be like, how do you call this? Independent. They don't want to hang around mom and dad for 24 seven. So yesterday we took the time to show the kids a little bit where is everything, where is the center, where can you go to shop, where can you drink a milkshake or where can you, you know, and they are finding their way around slowly. This mostly takes like about one, two weeks, sometimes even three weeks in new, in new countries because the language is new. So don't think that this digital nomad life we are li living is a very easy, easy, simple life. It is not always easy. It is also with ups and downs. It's a family life. They act the same as they would probably act in your area. You know, sometimes they love to be at home and sometimes they hate to be at home. Sometimes they love their parents and sometimes they hate their parents. I noticed in the last four years that this time span of adapting to new places is becoming shorter and shorter. So I think if we keep traveling like this in the future, I don't think they have any problems 
with adapting to new areas like in a few days. But yeah, that's the, that was the family part of this video, guys. So let's talk a little bit more about Bitcoin because that is the most important thing you want to hear out of this mouth. <clears throat> ah, let's clean the mouth because I think, I think I'm spitting. But let's zoom out a little bit more. Let's zoom out to the monthly chart. Let's zoom out to the monthly chart, to this monthly chart. Bam! On this monthly chart, guys, you can see something very cool. You can see that we formed this trend line downwards from the 2018 top all the way down to this year. And we just broke this trend line, went up, and now we are retesting this trend line. Why am I showing you this chart? This is a monthly chart. Every, every candle is a month. I'm showing you this chart to just show you that we are just getting started, guys. It took us almost three years to break this downward trend line. And now we have been, and since we broke it like a month ago, we went up and we retested the trend line. We are retesting this trend line now. So it's just the start. It's not that Bitcoin is going to 100K tomorrow, because if we, if we take a look at the monthly chart before the previous bull run, we can see the same. We broke out of this downward trend line. We came up, we retested this trend line. And then again, it took about 12 to 18 months before we saw the high in this bull run. So we just broke this trend line. We came up, we are testing it now. So guys, it can take another year to one half year to see the new top of this bull run, of this, this bull run. Yes, I, I agree that we can break the all-time high of 20K earlier. We can even see a new all-time high this year, between now and December, between now and Christmas. Maybe it's a present for Christmas that we see this new all-time high, maybe break the 20K, but I don't think that will be the top of the new bull run. This current bull run will see a top, in my opinion, between 50k and 150k. And yes, of course, it can go all the way up to 200k or 400k, like a lot of people are, are expecting. But I'm like, if it is going to be between 50 and 100k, I'm already happy, guys. So yes, 20k, guys, we can break this level this year. And the new top of this bull run will be in between one to one and a half years from today. So that can take some more time. Be patient. Hoddle, hoddle, hoddle. And to make this video not complete about Bitcoin, let's talk a little bit about Ethereum as well. Bam! This Ethereum chart shows you exactly what levels to look out for, guys. It's working against this very important level, 400 US dollar. You can see that the most important level is the 391 US dollar. This is exactly aligned with the 50 day moving average on this chart. So yes, this is the level we need to break. If we can't break this level on Ethereum, guys, we will fall down again. We can even fall down to 275 US dollar, somewhere between 275 US dollar and 300 dollar. You can see these areas with these green areas. You can see this line coming down. So this means if you're going to retest 390 US dollar and we, we are not able to break this one, we will fall down with this curve again to 275 to 300 US dollar. So that would be the moment to buy some more Ethereum. That is the buying. So if you want to play this game, you can always put in some buy orders. So in Prime XBT, for example, you go into this chart and you just put in some buy orders for Ethereum around 275 to 300 US dollars. This is the way how you could buy into the dip of Ethereum. If you don't fall out, no worries, because then you still have your US dollar tether. You didn't buy the Ethereum, so you still have the same amount of capital you had before. I'm, I'm explaining this for the newcomers, so you just set some buy orders in these lows of 275 to 300 so you can buy ethereum in the dip because if we will fall to these levels in ethereum yes we will bounce again to 350 360 so calculate how much profit you could make by just buying one ethereum at 270 us dollar and then take the ride to 350 us dollar again this is the way you should be playing the charts but let's take a look at the positive part of this chart guys because if we are able to break the 391 us dollar level then we can see a movement of Ethereum upwards all the way to 466 US dollar per Ethereum. You can see it in the line. Yes, it won't be a direct candle to 466 US dollar. It will go up and it will go down, up and down, up and down. Everything is always moving in these waves. But these waves could take Ethereum all the way up to 466 US dollar if we are able to flip this $390 resistance level of Ethereum into support. So yes, flipping. $90 resistance 
into support means also an option to buy because then you can take the ride to 460 US dollar. You're slowly understanding the game. So it's a game of waiting. It's a game of patience. It's not a game of making emotional move, guys. It's a game of waiting for the right moment. I always wait for the confirmation. So yes, if we can't break 390, we will fall down. We can see it. Maybe we want to break, we can try it again and then again fall down. That for me is a confirmation that we will see 270 to 300 US dollar Ethereum prices. So that's the moment I put in these buy orders. If we are going to break 390, go up, I am not FOMOing, I am waiting. Because if we break 390 US dollar, we will come down again to retest this level. And then when we retest the 390 US dollar level and go up again, that is the moment that I buy in because then I want to join this beautiful run all the way up to 460 US dollar. If you have problems of how to put in your trades and everything, comment below the videos. I can always help you with the basics of this. I even have a course on my website. I am thinking of giving away this course for free to a lot of people so that they understand the basics of trading. I'm going to walk to this small bar I see over there and drink a coffee while I enjoy these beautiful sounds of the sea. And then, yes, I need to head back home because I need to edit this video and push it online so you have it on a beautiful time on this beautiful Sunday. And then after that, guys, then I'm going to jump into the sea with my family because I think the wife and the kids also want to join me. So, yes, going now to that bar, drinking a coffee. And of course, guys, paying with my Bitcoin card. Do you know what Bitcoin is? Bitcoin? No. Bitchy coin? This one? No? no. Okay. <laughs> Not everybody knows it yet. <laughs> I will tell her. And guys, I asked this girl if she knew what Bitcoin was. She didn't know Bitcoin. She never heard about Bitcoin. And this is how I can see that we are not near mass adoption yet. Even these youngsters, I think she was between 20 and 25 years old. She never heard about Bitcoin. So when I shut the camera off, of course, I talked to her. I drank my coffee and she was like, oh, tell me more. What is Bitcoin and everything? She was Russian, by the way. So that's why you didn't, she didn't understand Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't even think you pronounce it like Bitcoin in Portugal, but at least I tried. Uh, but then you get in these conversations and I told her exactly what Bitcoin is. And then it's very handy. We as a family, we have been featured in many different languages all over the world. So I could show her a Russian documentary that was made about us. Take a look how I sound in Russian. Is I like I sound like this, and and then and I showed her this Russian documentary, like ten minutes of the documentary, and she was like, ah, it does come in handy that you have a Russian documentary or a Portuguese or a Spanish or a Chinese or a you know a German because you can show them in their own language what we do as a family and what Bitcoin is because it is more easy for them to connect to Bitcoin if they can see it through the eyes of a family than just connect to Bitcoin as some digital thing they don't understand anything about. Guys, that was the video for today. If you did like the video and all the information, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified on every new video. And yes, please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. We need to educate each other in this industry. We need to support each other. Any comment is welcome. Stupid questions don't exist. Just ask whatever you want to ask and we are all there to help you. Always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. I'm going to zoom out. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.